you so much for taking the time to uh, be here. I think the audience on the channel will really appreciate uh, hearing from you. We are two days away from uh, the Sub 8 challenge for you. How do you feel? Yeah, um, a bit of mixed emotions at the moment, actually. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not quite ready. I need okay. another day, I think. Yeah. Um, it's easy to say, yeah, I'm ready, I feel great, but actually I'm really quite stressed. Okay. It's hard with this event because obviously with Sub um, St. George a month ago, it was always going to be a very difficult turnaround. Um, and nothing's gone wrong. If anything, it's gone very smoothly. It's just you don't have those three months of training before it it's telling you that you're in great shape. I've yeah. got, you know, a few days of, yeah, perfect numbers, but we'll see how that see how translates. It that. Exactly. Okay. Okay. You mentioned St. George. You had an amazing performance there. Second at the Ironman World Championships, which is fantastic. Congratulations. How did you prepare to peak at St. George and then here be in the best shape possible? Or was St. George like a tune-up race with this? How did you how did you manage this? Um, I'm not sure you could call world champs. I can't imagine, but uh, it's hard to have um, two peak events so close together. Yeah, so hard. I think luckily the diff there's differences. Um, so obviously St. George was always about racing um, and understanding that you're not always in control. This is like the complete polar opposite, right? Yeah. And in theory, you're in complete control for the entire day and very below the line until the run. Whereas St. George, I actually went over the line for too long at the start of the bike. Yeah. I say too long, too long to make the race comfortable um, and controlled. Yes. So I had a very, very hard day. So how did I think I guess I tried to peak for St. George yes. um, and I was hoping to roll through into this event mm. uh, and I guess that's worked quite nicely. I had a few issues before St. George that meant that I wasn't, that I will be better in Kona I hope. Okay. Um, so that's positive for me to yeah. be like yes I can do better than that still. So yeah I guess I'm still, I'm still somewhere below where I'd like to be at some point. <laughs> okay, okay. You said you will be in control, you hope to be in control on Sunday. That's also thanks to the paces, the team you have around you. On the men's side, on the sub seven side of the event, there's a bit of uh, competition going on between the two teams, a bit of banter. Do you feel the same with Nicolas' team? Do you feel like you're racing her or is it going to be a motivation, an extra motivation for you to go um, close to her, around her and have her maybe chase you? Yeah, uh, I think the The banter between the boys is very much a sort of media generated face off boy v boy yeah, you know, that sort yeah. of dynamic that everybody wants to watch and it's definitely real but it's also hyped i think that the difference with the female side is that i have i have no negativity or rivalry towards nicola herself it's about i obviously want to beat her but it's about my team beating her team okay and yeah there's you know there's rubbish chat in the background of us dissing their team and i'm sure they're doing the same to us but it's not so face to face i think it's not necessarily the, the female way but maybe that's a bit stereotypical but no i i i can't I'd be I'd be severely disappointed if we didn't win. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> that that puts the, the bar very high. Speaking of putting the bar very high, we asked Christian yesterday during his interview uh, to predict your time and Nicolas' time. I'm not going to share his prediction with you, but okay. uh, very bold predictions. Can you yourself predict Christian's time and Joe's time? Goodness. Christian wants to go sub seven and Joe wants to do a seven uh 32 or something is that right yeah i think that's right sorry no six six thirty two yeah i, I yeah, mean yeah, yeah. okay in his schedule which, like uh, yeah yeah i'm confident that christian will be able to run his 225 off the bike okay i think the rest of it will depend on the conditions on the day yes which is a very diplomatic answer um but i think joe his build-up hasn't been as good um he can't have the same confidence and i feel like this marathon You need to have all the confidence in the world. It's not just a normal Ironman. You have to go out even harder than you thought mm. is you've ever done before to achieve a time that you've never done before. Yes. It's fresher. So I, I, not, I can't put a time on Joe's run, but I think it'll be more like 2.30 something rather than the 2.20s. Okay, which would already be quite amazing. Uh, Completely. Yeah. You mentioned Christian's and Christian's run. Uh, one similarity between the two of you on the run will be the shoes you will be wearing. Uh, the ASICS Metaspeed. Christian will be wearing V1. Which one are you going to be wearing? The 
a new version. Okay, yeah. which is a good segue to, oh, the new version of the Edge you will yeah. be wearing. Okay, so for those of you who didn't follow that, Kat was kind enough to comment on my publication of the podium shoes from uh, St. George <laughs> saying, hey, no, I didn't wear the Sky, I had the Edge. And then we chatted a bit. Uh, can you explain to us, so this is Edge V1 and this is Sky Plus, so I didn't ah. have the, the Edge is Plus. Is Christian wearing the Edge V1? No, he's Sky wearing the Sky V1, V1. Okay. yeah. But this is super interesting. Can you quickly uh, grab any of the sure. two and, and just tell us uh, why you picked the Edge Plus and yep. why it works so well for you. I think just as a quick you know, co side commentary, people still believe the sky is like better because it was used more by more people, yeah, yeah. it was made more available and you prove the contrary, you just show that one is better for a type of athlete and the other one for another type of athlete, another needs. So can you maybe tell us a bit more about that? Sure. So I, um, I was very much in the, yeah, I could only get hold of the sky to start with and so I wore the sky um, for the first few times I ran in the ASICS carbon shoes and I loved it. So so I have nothing against the V1 Sky. Yes. Um, they had a really great forefront um, sort of rocker mm -hmm. and you felt it, right? You felt that, that forward propulsion. I then wanted to try the Edge because the way that ASICs were describing the difference, I thought actually perhaps I am more of a cadence runner. I know that from my data, from my training watch, that I my cadence does increase quite significantly. So it's it's like pace and cadence is a beautiful graph when I'm doing intervals. So I thought, well, why not? I should definitely try it. Um, and I've dabbled between the two. Okay. But one of the other key reasons is that I've been picking up a few calf injuries, and with the MetaSpeed Edge, yes. you have a bigger heel drop. Yes. So it's more towards a standard sort of seven eight mil. Yeah than the sky being more of a 3-4 yeah, minimalistic correct. running shoe. Okay, so, so cadence choice. plus calf issues yeah. or calf yeah. nagels and you went for, for the yeah. edge. Now on V2, yeah. you also got the edge plus. How does it feel? Because Christian told us that the edge plus feels like the sky V1. So uh, yeah, yeah. is it what you felt also? So I tried both again, the, you know, the sky and the edge plus. Okay. Um, V2, that's what you're calling yeah. them. And I actually immediately found the sky a bit different. And okay. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure. And I guess my short turnaround, I felt as soon as I put the edge on, I was like, okay, this feels normal. Okay. So I still guess I haven't necessarily decided which I prefer. Okay. But for this race, I thought edge, safe, heel drop. I yeah. know what it feels like. I'm going to use that. Safe transition between edge, exactly. edge V1 and, and but it, okay. But I would be lying if when you, when you put the sky on, you, you do feel that extra, extra pop. forward momentum, okay. yeah. which is preference, I guess. I'm not sure yes. if one is better than the other, which we want to think that one is better, but that's why ASICS is unique because they've done a shoe that has two yes. options. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Kat, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, go in depth in your training, uh, preparation and the shoes. Uh, it was a big pleasure to have you here on the channel. I think the audience will really enjoy this one. We, at the end of the video, say uh, go beyond your limits to encourage everyone to go beyond their limits. Can you okay. say it for us today? To you? Uh, to the audience. Uh, <laughs> go beyond your limits. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kat. Absolutely.